Hey guys, today I'm going to be installing a head unit into my Pajero. So this is one with a screen, which I'm very excited about. I don't know if you guys have seen in previous videos. This is what my head unit looks like. It's quite ugly and boring and when I was buying my Pajero, I was actually wanting to buy one with a screen in it first, but this one came along and it was too good of a deal and I just thought, hey, I'll switch it out later. So the day has come. So this is the new head unit. I'll add a link down below where you can purchase one of these from and this will be a step-by-step -step in case you guys are wanting to do the same. So stick around. Yeah. First of all, we're going to remove these aircon vents, which I've already loosened up. You can just get a trim remover tool or use a flathead screwdriver if you're safe enough. And you're just going to want to unplug your hazard lights connector. So just chuck these up out of the way. Be very careful. You obviously don't want to scratch or ding anything. And then you're going to want to remove your aircon. And there's a few plugs in the back. I don't know if you guys can see which you're just going to want to have to wriggle them out. There is a little tab on them, so there's a little tab right there where you can press it in to remove them. And that's that out of the way. And then now we've just got to remove this big bad boy. To take the actual stereo part out, there's just a couple clips in behind here like you should be able to just pull this out but it's a little bit tough so i'm just going to put the flathead in there like that and just sort of crank them and pop them that tiny little bit and then do that on both sides and then hopefully you should be able to pull this out Just wriggle on out. Oops. And there's just one clip at the back of here you're going to want to unclip before you take the unit out. And that's removing your stereo. And now this is where we're up to. While we've got the stereo pushed out, you may as well get this section out, which there's just two screws on this side, two screws on this side, and it should pop right off. separated these so there's just little clips here and here that you have to worry about just a little bit of wriggling around I just got the flathead screwdriver in there and sort of pop them off so now we've got this part out which will then sit into the new like the top part of the new head unit that we're getting we'll also screw out this little box so there's just two screws in below here and then we've got one on each side There's just some plugs in the back of here where you have your little tabs on them again. You gotta push in to wriggle out. Push in, wriggle out. And this one's a little bit tight, but then you get that little jack out and now we've removed the CD player part. And yeah, I actually have never used the CD part of this in the nearly three years of owning this car. So this is why this head, unit's, this head unit's gonna be so good. Now the satisfying part. Unwrapping things just brings me so much joy. And especially when it's got bubble wrap. Oh, look at that. Okay.
this will by far be the cleanest thing in my car. So, now uh, look at that. Alright, so we'll just try chucking this in. That just clipped on there, absolutely no worries. And we'll just chuck those other two screws in. I mean, the other four screws, two on each side. All right, now, so that's all screwed in. You got your two on that side and two on that side so this is the end result okay so to test out it is all working you're gonna want this connection one it's the only one with this style connector on it and you're gonna connect it into your factory one so now you're with this and this is your earth which you're gonna want to connect up in a minute so I've just got a size 10 socket and just undoing this one a little bit just to get it loose and then you're going to want this connector here that's got all these aux connections on them mainly for this one so this is what it looks like and in the back of the unit we're going to connect it into here and so they've all got in the, um they've all got different amount of um prongs on them so this is the longest one i'm going to stick it into this top left one And then we're gonna to wanna, to, with this little black one, there's another little black one right there, and we're gonna connect them together. And you wanna make sure that you can hear the little clip, otherwise it might not be working. So now this is what we are left with, and we're gonna to wanna to get this connection here, the one that's connected to the car, and connect it over here to the bottom left. Might be a little bit hard to see. So as you guys can see, I've got it connected in here and this is the earth that I'm just going to connect up to the behind this bolt over here. So just gonna Put it in there, tighten it up a bit, and where's this jack? Gonna put this jack in on this top left over here, which you won't be able to see. But I'll put it in, and we're gonna want to turn the car on to see if this actually works. And I guess I can connect this one up as well, so you can see them both in action. That's roughly where it's about to sit. Turn the car on. And there we go. It seems to be working. Um, I haven't connected up the volume buttons yet for the um, steering wheel, but we'll see how this is. Alright, so as far as I can gather, it all works, which is good. So before you obviously put it back together, you wanna to make sure it's working. You don't wanna put everything back and then realize, hey, it's not working and have to do undo every single step you've just done. So always keep just testing it along the way. So now that I know that that's working, I'm gonna turn this off. And I'm gonna unplug it again. And I'm just gonna connect up all the other little connections here. Okay, so it's taken me a minute to figure out all the wiring, but I will try to do it as simply as I can. So it's fairly simple in the way that you can see this one's got four prongs, this one's got six prongs. And so in the back of your head unit over here, it's got like, it's obvious to tell which one's which. So there's only one section where it's got four prongs, only one section where it's got six, where it's got eight. So it's pretty much impossible to connect it up to the wrong thing because it physically just won't fit. So I'll go along and 
This one here, the one with the fork, has got a USB connection, which is for apparently watching movies, so you can connect it up by USB. So that one, on the top row, is the third one across. So, and you want the little clip part of it facing down, Liz, and push it in until you hear the little click, because you've got to make sure that it's clipped in, otherwise it will not work. And then we'll go with this one, and that is going to go on the bottom right side. And I'm just going to have that little click, so that's in there, alright. I don't have um, like a good stereo system, the Pajero or anything like that, so I'm not going to need a majority of these right now. But there is one, which is the black one, which is labelled mic, which in the kit it comes with a little microphone, so I'll connect that one up. And then also where all these connections are, there's just a little black connector. And on the new, on the new head unit, there's also one there, so you just want to clip that one together. And all right, we've got another two USB connectors and this one's the one with the six prongs, which is going on the top of right side this time. Give a little click. Over here we have the Wi-Fi connector and this is the GPS one. So I'll also try to it so that you guys can see. On the top here, it says GPS down below and then it says Wi-Fi 4G on the bottom. So this one with the, I know it's a rectangle but I'm going to call it a square. The one with the small square one, it even says GPS on it there. You're going to want to connect it up to the top one of the two and just twist it. So it's a little bit awkward to hold it like that but you guys will see in a second how it is. Guessing it doesn't have to be overly tight, just do it finger tight. Alright. So I've got it connected up there, the square one, even though it's slightly rectangle. And then I'm gonna call this one the rectangle one. That's just like a long stick. This one is the Wi-Fi 4G slash 5G, and that one's going at the bottom over there. And I'll just twist that one in. Comes with like a sticker on the back so when we go to put it in we'll put it like in underneath the dash we'll put it far back so that you know can read quite well and then we've got this one and that is going on the top left okay and what else do we have to connect this is for the reverse cam so I'm not going to do the reverse camera right now, but it comes with There are ways that you can use your factory reverse cam, but apparently it's just easier to do the new one, so So now this is what the back looks like All these wires and connectors everywhere um, the USB ones, I'll sort of run to where the glove box is. So. I'm going to get this, the GPS one, which says GPS, with, and I'm just going to stick it up well out of the way. Just chucked it up there towards the right a little bit and hopefully I can sort of put this wiring out of the way. Um, same with this Wi-Fi 4G one. I'll just take the sticky mess off. And I'm gonna be different and put it on the left hand side. That fits perfect down there, so now you've just got those two wires out of the way. Um, 
I'll leave that one all bundled up. All these USB ones, I'm gonna undo. And I'm just gonna run them down here. And I'll be able to pull them through down the bottom there afterwards. We'll um, put the trip computer plug back in. So I might just have to put the camera here for a minute. Ah, hear that clip. And I'm just sort of gonna push the wires around a little bit to make it look a bit neater. Supposedly, we're going to go to settings, which might take me a minute to find because I haven't used this before. What was that settings? No steering. <gasps> steering wheel. Is that what I need? Volume. Pre please press the start button first. So we go start. Please select the function. Ah, oh, sweet. So. You just go along here and you select each of the functions and then you do it so volume lower and lower and it's got a little as that play pause oh my gosh i'm so bad at this previous i do down wait okay reject we well, you know reject is that one on the right hand side answer that one on the middle uh, voice is the one on the left on the bottom. My steering wheel's um, bent at the moment. Uh, mode is that one over there. Okay, and we'll go over to radio and we'll try my radio, my local station out again. 91.1. Nice. Alright, will that stay? And then I'm gonna go over right here. Quality floor from Harvey Norman, from pet friendly carpets to durable timber flooring. And that works, which is very exciting. We'll try another station. Vanities and just go with the seasons, it's what we aim to do. connect the mic one up which is that black one I don't know if you guys remember seeing we we'll just can't have the mic coming out of here at the moment and it's just a little black one right. we've got that all out of the way now we can put the aircon controls back in Make sure you connect them back up. It's just the same two as last time. Oops. Just don't want that upside down. All right. Just gonna drop this mic down here. Just wanna clip your aircon units back in. Oh, I guess double check again before we we commit to putting everything together. Obviously, don't want to have it all going good and then figure out it's not actually working. Ninety-one point one. Nice. Connect this back up and this one back up don't 
forget to connect your hazards back up. It's a bit dusty. Okay, so I've just connected up Wi-Fi on this thing and we're gonna go all the way to YouTube and see if this works. Oh, this is awesome. All right, let's go over to my channel. Here, four. Oh, look at that, we're already popping up. Oh, nice. All right, so what I expect you guys to do as soon as you get your head unit completed is to head over to YouTube and subscribe if you're not subscribed. But that's cool, so I can watch my own videos. Skip ads. Nice. Let's make it full screen. Ooh. Can we even change the quality? I mean... Quality. Nice, let's go 1080. See if it makes it a little bit better. Oh, look at that. Alright, let's go over to where I'm with the sharks. Oh, that was a good guess. This is my phone's Wi Fi. That's the fault of this going slow because it's terrible. That is insane. I feel like it's not picturing, I mean, picking up how good the quality on this is. But that's so good. How cool is that? This is actually like the greatest thing. This is what I've been wanting for so long. And that is... I'm actually speechless at how happy I am with this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like, oh, look at that. And if you guys haven't figured, I obviously love sharks incredibly. So I'm just gonna watch shark videos on this all the time in all honesty. That is insane.